It's the second U.S. plane to arrive in Myanmar carrying supplies after a deadly cyclone struck the Asian nation. I just wish we could do more faster. You know, I, I would fly over there you know, as, as many times as they let me a day. Yeah, as long as, as fast as I can load up and take it over there. Officials are reporting 62,000 dead or missing, but the United Nations puts that number at more than 100,000. Now, 10 days later, the government has agreed to accept more aid from America for the estimated 2 million people severely affected. But that may not be enough for Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, who stopped short of supporting forced intervention in the country. Uh, we are doing everything that we can because this is a humanitarian issue, not a political issue, and uh, we want to make very clear that our only desire is to help the people of Burma. Thank you. Even so, Myanmar authorities say basic needs of the storm victims were being fulfilled. That's after the country's military junta took control of most foreign aid. But the UN is telling a different story. They say only a tiny portion of international aid was reaching the cyclone victims. New reports say the country's military regime is hoarding high quality foreign aid for itself and giving the victims rotten food. I really wish their government would accept our aid uh, more th than what they have already. The U.S. has said it's prepared to send 200,000 pounds of supplies a day. And it says it could also ferry aid workers to the hardest hit regions, which remain tough to reach. Well, right from the very beginning, we planned a, an initial response to 750,000 people for six months because people have lost everything. They've lost their homes, uh, their, their fields have been inundated. Myanmar's largest city, Yangon, has been pounded by heavy rain the past few days, and more downpours are expected throughout the week, making aid deliveries even more difficult. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.